everybody. Glad to see you guys back here once again on the channel. You're watching Tech of Tomorrow. And a lot of times people send me email and they're like, hey, dude, what is on your desk? What do you use to game? And basically, hey, man, do a desktop tour. Now, I would do basically a whole office tour in here, but there's just a ton of shifting in here because not only do I game this room, I do all my testing. I mean, just right over here, I got a couple test stations. Over here, I got all my parts, posters. But you guys always want to know about my gaming rig. Okay, so the gaming rig I had back behind me, blah, 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 blah. Now, the gaming system I had back behind me, my friend Jerry Chang won. He won this in an event up at that big old giant boat when NVIDIA was doing this huge thing on that aircraft carrier. You guys all remember that. And he won the system. It's got LGA 775 board, high-end Intel thing. It had some Mars cards in it. But to be honest with you, it's been kind of fledging. I've changed some parts around in it. I was actually been using a NVIDIA 690 for the longest time. But now I've decided, you know what? Since we're going to do the desktop tour, let's talk about my upgrade at the same time because this weekend I'm going to upgrade my computer. So first off, I'm going to take you guys on a little tour about all the new parts that are going into this system because I think that's what you guys really want to know what I'm using. And so this is what I'm going to be using in a week. For the other system, if you guys want to know what that is and a lot of other videos, I'll have a link down below. We've listed all the specs of this system completely many Many times now the falcon northwest case i really like it it's pretty badass i don't plan on changing it out at all all i plan on doing is basically gutting it and replacing it with the parts so with that said before we actually do the desktop tour and talk about all my peripherals and all that stuff let's first talk about the new parts and i'm going to switch out to upgrade my system so let's first start off with the new motherboard. It's going to be the Asus Rampage 4 Extreme, a very powerful board for the LGA Socket 2011, and it's going to be awesome. Next up, I've got my CPU that I got from Intel. It's actually Intel Confidential, but it's the i7-4960X Extreme Edition at 3.6 gigahertz right out of the box. Yummy, yummy, yummy. So next up is the CPU core. Now we're going to go with the Zalman Resurator 3 Max Dual. Now this thing's a really killer one. It's brand new on the market. And I figured, hey, what better way to test it than to put it in my own personal system? Now, as far as memory goes, I'm using the Corsair Dominator Platinum 16 gigabyte kit. Now this is PC3 1500 desktop memory and it should kick some severe booty in my system. For the graphics card, I'm going with the MSI 780 Ti gaming card. Now, I'm also going to be using a reference card, and I'll be using those in SLI. I'm also going to be changing out my SSDs to two brand new ones from A Data. One is a 256 gigabyte, and the other is a 512. So I'll use the 256 gigabyte for my OS and for my Origin games, and the other one for all my Steam games. So obviously with all these parts, I'm going to need a very adequate power supply to power them. And I wanted one that I could actually do all the adjustments of my fans off the front of the case, something I can't currently do with my system. So I went with the Cooler Master Silent Pro Hybrid. Now this thing's a 1300 watt, 80 plus gold power supply with modular cables and fan speed controller. All the things that I'm looking for in a power supply. All right, folks, so that's everything that's actually going to be going inside of my Falcon Northwest Green Machine case back here. By the way, the color on it's Camaro Green. If any of you guys were wondering, you can look that color up online. It actually matches that. But that said, that now, let's jump in and let's start talking about all the things I use on my desktop. Let's go. First off, let's talk about my mouse pad, some everybody uses. Now, I use the CM Storm Speed RX Large. You can see this thing off over here to the right. Been using this thing for quite a long time now. You'll notice everything in my room is actually quite dusty though because I like live by the desert. When you live in the desert, hey, shit, it just gets dusty. Now, as far as my mouse goes, I use the CM Storm Sentinel Advance 2 with 800 DPI with a Vago sensor and 128 kilobytes of memory. Now, I don't really use any of those features, but I do use the shit of it for gaming and it works really, really well. I haven't really programmed it much. I keep the DPI much lower than that. If I had set the DPI at 800 DPI, it would be going so fast, I probably wouldn't even see it. Now, my keyboard. It's also a CM Storm trigger falling along the line of everything I have here, everything on my desktop I tried to keep in the CM Storm theme. Now, this is the trigger. It's a mechanical gaming keyboard with Cherry MX Blue switches and a fully LED backlit. You guys have seen this before. I think it's really cool. Everything on it lights up in red lighting and it looks really, really nice. Now, another thing that people ask me about all the time is my speaker system. They're like, hey man, what are those speakers? 
And I gotta tell you guys, I really like these things. Some people in the past have talked some shit about them, but you guys can see when you guys take a look at them that the reviews on these things are really quite awesome. I'm very satisfied. These are the Alta Cleansing MX6021 2.1 Expressionist Ultra Speaker System in black. I like these things quite a bit. They sound bitchin', they look bitchin', and they have this total little control thing here where you can control the volume up and down, you can hook headphones up to it, everything, right to this little thing you can set on your desk. Now, my monitor is the Dell U3014 Ultra Sharp 30 inch Premier Color Monitor. Now this thing's amazing, 2560 by 1600 resolution. I've been gaming on this for like the past year and a half and this thing kicks ass. If you're looking for ultra, ultra high resolution, this thing seriously is an ass kicker. And last up, the 3M Adjustable Gel Wrist Pad. Now I've gotten more emails about this particular product probably about than any other product I've had whenever I've showed my desktop. All right, folks, so there you guys have it. What Elric used in his daily gaming system. This is my system right back there now. One of the main things, though, I got to just reiterate one more time, is this thing. I don't know why, but so many people have asked me a gazillion emails about this 3M gel pad for my wrist. Now, this thing's really cool, and you guys have seen the list, but this thing's also a bit pricey. You're going to come in a little bit shocked. It's like 54 bucks, right? kind of an expensive ass thing. But I gotta admit to you, it's very comfortable. I even fight with people at my house if they move it or do anything with it because I really like this thing. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. We'll be building my whole new system. We'll come back with a video about that in a little bit later, but you guys have been asking for a long time, what's on my desktop? What do I use to game? And so there you guys have it. For those who liked the video, hey, the like button's down there and below will be the description. We'll have all the parts of the new system and the existing system down there below if you choose to buy it and make it your own system. I would go with the newer parts though. The other ones work okay, but hey, Neuro ones are much better. So I'm Elric. Thanks for watching Tech and Tomorrow. I'm off to do some gaming and having some fun tonight. Thanks, guys. Appreciate your viewing.